open. They put the ball in the hands of Kendall Williams. Williams up top. New Mexico down three with the basketball. Here's the three. That was blocked. Bearstow got it, put it up, and scored. One point game again. Well, Bearstow in the right position at the right time. Saw the ball was going to be short, came inside and got it. We're going to go right down to the wire with this baby. One minute to play. Sherrod right on the wing. Hits the three and got it! Wow, and a foul! How about that, huh? Right in front of his bench. I mean, you talk about a long-range three. Gets the foul. He's going to go to the line for a chance for a four-point four play. Watch this. Sherrod Wright looks over. Snell's right there. He says, forget it. I'm going up. Nothing but net. Look at him. Look at the bench. It was like, did you see me make that? He, he knew it all the time. For the four-point play, he got it. And a five-point lead. Lobo's got to pick it up here. Well, Steve Alford is not happy, to say the least. You better be careful. He did it not at all like the call on Tony Snell. Watch again. See how much contact was made. Not much. Wow. Not much. Well, say, you know what? Did he get him on the arm? Did he get him on the elbow? It's it hard to tell from that angle. Hard to tell. One of the things that uh, officials will tell you, let's look at it from this angle. You might you might see it a little bit better. He may have gotten him a little yell. Could have. One thing that the officials will try to do is protect shooters, particularly jump shooters that are up there. They are defenseless. There's no way they can avoid anything if the guy who is defending him comes after him. All they're doing is concentrating on trying to make that shot. All right, 47 and 9, 10 seconds remaining. New Mexico down five. They got to score and score quickly. And a steal. Sherrod Wright, if he can just take it back out, New Mexico's got a foul. And now they do. Well, they waited until he got down to 26.7 remaining. Isn't it ironic that what gets this game and could put it away for George Mason is not so much their offense as we take a look at Steve Alford, who probably is thinking, geez, what happened in this second half? A lot of it had to do with their defense. They just were not there on those guys dribble driving to their basket. But it was the defense of George Mason that got this one back for them and allowed them to go to this free throw line for these two shots for Brian Allen. Ryan Allen with a chance to put this one on ice. Misses the front end of the one and one. New Mexico in a hurry. Taking it all the way to the rim nice. and slamming it home. That's the way you want to do it with authority. And what was Gujanic thinking of contesting that dunk? And a foul on Kendall Williams. So it's free throws now in a three-point game. That's what it's going to come down to. Watch again. Williams right here with the basketball going all the way in. Just stay away. Yeah. Let him go ahead and lay it up. It's hard to override the habits of going up and defending the rim. But that three-point play could have been big in this ballgame. Sherrod Wright got the roll. George Mason. So far this season, a very poor free throw shooting team needs these. They got the first one. Right four for four, make it five for five. Oh, oh my long goodness. three, he oh. got it! 
Oh, my goodness. Kendall Williams from 35 feet. And a two-point game. Well, we are going to show you right now a shot that was so far out, I couldn't even believe it. He could have almost reached over and sh shake our hand right here. We're so close. Look at this. Maybe one, two, three, four steps beyond the half line. He buries it. Kendall Williams. Look at the one, two, three, four, a little skip. And nothing. He's at him. least 12 feet behind the oh. three point line. Incredible shot. Maybe 15 feet. Two point game. Absolutely. 11 and 9 tenths seconds remaining. He hit it from basically the white line. The white line that runs parallel to the baseline. He dotted the eye. Watch it again. Yeah, look at the eye right here. He's right on top of that eye. And he is. He's about, I'm going to guess, 10 feet beyond that three-point line. LAI, the League of American Islands, which is with the University of the Virgin Islands, the conference they play in, or the league that they play in, he got it from the eye. What an entertaining game. It really has been. All right, now if you're New Mexico, obviously you're going to try to guard. Deny the ball in. If it comes in, foul immediately. Tony Snell, watch for the long pass as well. Tony Snell guarding the basketball. There's a steal. Kendall Williams. For the win, Snell got, got it. it. He got it. Wow. With 1.8 seconds remaining. They got to go quick. And New Mexico with a stunning victory. Less than 10 seconds remaining. Two three point field goals. One by Kendall Williams, about four steps beyond the half line, just in back of that three point line, maybe 10 feet. And then, appropriately, Tony Snell hits the game winner. What a night Snell has had. A career high 27. It wasn't about the quantity, but the quality. And the quality of shot turned into a game winner. Boy, it's Steve Alford. There's going to be a lot of things he's going to look at when he sees this tape. But at the end of the night, they come away with a victory 70 to 69 as we go to Kristen. Coach, unbelievable game. Back and forth there. Then you come out of a huddle. Huge play by Kendall Williams. Take us through that. It was a great steal. We've been getting better with our OB defense and our out of bounds defense, and they made a great defensive play. Both teams played really hard. We couldn't make anything in the second half, but uh, it was very similar to Davidson. I'm just really proud of the fight that our guys have because we're not playing that well. We're just fighting. What did you say in the huddle then that made them come out and make two well, big plays? We had the arrow, so we didn't want to foul uh, right away. We wanted to make a second pass, but they threw the inbounds away, and it worked really well. And then our guys, that's Cleveland Thomas, a freshman, making that dribble drive and kick, so it's a big play for us. Talk about Tony Snell's performance as well. He stepped up really big. He had to have 25-plus probably tonight. He did a lot of good things for us. He's about the only guy making shots. Um, oh, it's a great win. They're still were able to get inside several times on you tonight. What do you need to do to adjust that looking forward? Well, we got a lot to work on, that's for sure. You know, we're not playing very well. We're 3-0, and and we haven't really played good basketball yet. So the film helps. We got a chance to go back and look at it. We don't play till 11 o'clock tomorrow night. So hopefully we'll be better before we play the championship. As they say, a win's a win. That's right. Win in advance. Thank you. Well, Tony Snell, the biggest shot of the game after Kendall Williams comes up with the steal, the freshman, 
Cleveland Thomas finds the open man. And it, uh, as I said appropriately, it had to be Tony Snell. He just played so well all night long. Look at this pass. You know, if Drive they're... in, right to the baseline, give it to the right man in the right spot. Snell just buried it, didn't even touch the rim. And if there was one weakness to George Mason's game tonight, it was inbounding the basketball.